Live from the board game room, it's the Insane Board Game Freak Show with your host, Media Insane Board Game Freak. Yo, come on, it's Gory Barty. In this episode, imagine play discover, cooperative play, real wooden pieces, color recognition. In this episode, Snail's Pace Race, Raven Burgers, Snail's Pace Race, a Snail's Pace will win the race, quick or slowly, or if they can go quickly, to the board game room. Ew. I, I can't stand the sight of slugs and snails, especially the big, I can't even talk about them. The gigantic ones that they hold like bunny rabbits. Ah, disgusting, grotesque. No, no mollusks. I can't stand the sight of them. It's like kryptonite to me. Ah, I don't know if I can do this review, people. Uh, quick, to the board game room. I always freak out and flinch and throw my hands up to my face and scream like a girl whenever I see slugs and snails on the trash cans and the ground, especially the big fat banana slugs. Ugh. They got the leopard print on them. What the hell they got leopard print on them for? Ugh. I can't touch this board game box, but I'm going to have to review it anyway. Too bad I don't have those gopher robotic hand claws, whatever. To the board game room. You get it? I was going to slow the snail. <laughs> Alright, here we go. It's Snails Rayenberger's Snails Pace Race Game. The disgusting, really disgusting, grotesque now board game. I can't bear to watch. I'm going to do this blindfolded. Now I can't see him. It's going to be like the blind leading the blind with the snails. I can't touch them, even though if they would. No, come on, Ven. Get a hold of yourself. You're the insane board game freak. You could withstand anything. Even the smell of your own dirty socks. Even the smell of my own dirty socks? Yes, Ven. Even the smell of your own dirty socks. Like, remember the last time you wore them in the truck when you were driving at work? And then the state trooper pulled you over for an inspection, and then he just sent you on your way out of there because you you two saw him. His the look on his face, he didn't like the smell of your, your dirty socks that you wore that day because you forgot to do your laundry the other day. So he just like said, "You can go. It's okay." I saw the look on his face. Anyway, so. Here's how you play the game. I mean, the game is so short. If I would have just stopped it now, it would have been four minutes. It would have been much of an episode. Well, actually, um, I had episodes like that. Anyway, so the object of the game is to guess correctly which snail will cross the finish line first and last. Okay? Now, getting started. You're going to put each snail on its matching colored leaf. Okay, they're going to start here. Put them over there. What are you putting them over there for? So red, yellow, green. He's the authentic looking snail because most snails are green. Or whatever. Brown, whatever. Anyway, I don't want to think about it. Alright. 
So now you got this the dice, okay? Kind of like the dice from the most games, Raven Brothers, and or the game from um, the game Mighty Mouse, uh, Danger Mouse saves the world board game, the board game. So anyway, six colorful garden snails are ready to race. Which snail would come in first, and which will finish last? Who can guess the outcome? To find out, roll the two colored dice and start the race. Ready, set, go, little snails. I'd rather not. It's disgusting. So anyway, you're going to guess correctly which snail will cross the finish line first and last. Put each snail on its matching color leaf. All the snails will race no matter how many players there are. Okay? So now let's play. The youngest player goes first. Take turns rolling the two colored dice. Move the two snails that corresponding spawn with the colors that are on the dice that were rolled by one space forward. If you roll two of the same color, move that snail two spaces. That's like, um... Oh, I just had it to tip my tongue. So now I gotta roll two blue twice. One, two. Okay. I gotta go... Oh! That's like, um, shark attack. Two orange now. Okay. Red and pink. That's pretty cute. Cool. Ew, did I just say it's pretty cute and cool? They're disgusting. I hate snails. Okay, so now... Um... If you roll two... Okay. Once the snails are on their way, everyone has to guess which snail will cross the finish line first and which snail will cross last. Each snail has to to arrive at the space marked with its colored snail at the end of the game. Okay, the race. Winning the game. The game is not over until the, the fat lady sings. Jeez. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, it's an old saying. It ain't over till the fat lady sings. So anyway. Um... Okay. It ain't over yet, okay? Now, um the the winning players are the ones who guessed the outcome correctly, okay? So the game is not over until the very last snail has crossed the finish line. Okay? Both the snail that is first and the snail that is last win the race. The winning players are the ones who guessed the outcome correctly. Okay, game variations. Feel free to mix it up. You can change the rules of the game so that only the snail finishing last or only the snail finishing first is the winner instead of both. Uh, helpful information. The snails are the competitors in the race, not the children playing. This is an effective game for children who may become frustrated by competition. It teaches them that the joy of the game is in playing it, not necessarily winning it. Especially if the players decide to make the snail in the last place the winner. This goes out to um, people who play any board game too. You know who you are. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. And it's just a little advice. That's all. No big deal. No snail discouraged about losing. They are always winning, uh, willing to race again. Okay. So now, um, the, the, this game is helpful for younger children learning color identification. Encourage them to call out which colored snails are moving every time the dice are rolled. Have children discover and describe all the details they see in the beautiful scenery around the game board. You see bunny rabbit, the carrot, a worm, a worm. A worm, a, a worm, a worm, uh, mushrooms, ants, taking an orange and banana, the cabbage patch. Mm, looks like we got some cabbages in the cabbage patch today, big bird. Froggy, bumblebee, another snail, snail, ah! 
Ah! Okay, so let's go up top to my phone talk about the game. Alright, so my final thoughts. What do I do about this game? Where's my visors? So, this thing on. Yep, it's still rolling. Final thoughts. Now, what do I think about this game? The game is just a basic roll and move game. Very fun. It's got the shark attack kind of mechanism in it with the board game and... The dice that you roll and you move those colors to go around instead of racing around in a circle trying to get eaten by a shark. You're trying to get to the end of the board game. The, the board game. You knew I'd say that. So, you know, that's pretty much basically it. The player marker tokens are cool. They're alright. I really don't like snails though. I don't know what it is. They just freak me out. I flip out when I see them and... Especially that last time when I, and the only time, when I saw the, um, the ones that the guy from Africa came into the Florida and he dropped off or the, the, the whole ca wooden case or whatever broke open of snails, the gigantic giant, uh, South African snails. And, uh, they, they spit acid and they were like, you know, breaking into people's homes and stuff. <laughs> What the heck kind of stuff is that? And then you see pictures of these kids and everybody holding them like they're bunny rabbits. Like, what the heck? Like, they're puppy dogs or kittens or cats. How the heck do you do something like that? Oof. Man. So anyway, um, before I get grossed out and start flipping out in front of the camera and everybody thinks I belong to Looney Bin... Well, they probably do anyway. It's not the insane board game freak show for nothing. So now, this game, it's fun. Quick and easy to play, easy to learn. It teaches kids colors, just like how it says in the top right-hand corner, left-hand corner. You can learn which left is right and everything instead of, you know, I don't know. The game's a cute, cool, fun game for kids to play with their parents, alright? You know, I saw it at a thrift shop for a buck, so I picked it up. I thought I'd do a review on it. That's it. That's Raymond Burger's Snail's Pace Race game. The board game. That's it for today, everybody. Looks like this game is over. Board game freak out. <laughs> Na 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 na